Hey you guys, this is Teresa with One Heart Bible Ministries and I was working on this Bible today, posted a picture on my Facebook group which is One Heart Bible slash Bible Journaling and a lot of folks want to know how to do it so I thought why not show, I've done the front of the Bible, why not show how I do the back. This is actually an interleaved Bible, it's fabric bound from, and it's going to a recovery center. A lot of you have um, sent in pages for it. You can actually just um, go on YouTube and do a search for Lily Pulitzer acrylic flowers and tons of tutorials will come up. But I just wanted to show you, you know, basically how um, we did it on a Bible. It's very plain and I want, got a little bit dirty and I wanted to do something to jazz it up a little bit just so it would look inviting and appealing. And um, I'm going to show you how it goes. So, I am using plain old apple barrel paints, acrylic paints, that the cheapo kind. You need a, whatever, you know, color you're using, I'm going with the pinks, you'll need a darker, a lighter, and a white for the flowers. And then you'll need two different greens to use on your leaves. So, I've already got mine ready here. And I've got to tell you, I was scared to death the first strokes I put on, um, this Bible because I thought ah, I'm gonna mess it up so Lord got my hands and let's make the back look as nice as the front here we go we're just going to like kindergarten draw a basic flower shape it's really kind of hard on this fabric so you have to work to cover it pretty good this is the honeysuckle pink in the apple barrel colors. So um, I'm just going to do one flower and then I will come back and show you after I get all of them done I'll come back and show you how to do the leaves. So okay see basic flower shape. Then I'm going to um, I'm not real good about this y'all I'm just wiping this off with a paper towel wiping off my brush a little bit and I'm going to come in with my lighter color and all in the world we're going to do is some little strokes like roundabouts like this just like little curved strokes okay you can do some on the edges but you can see already how that's shaping up right you can make it as full of of these strokes as you want all right, then I'm gonna come back with the white. I'm using kind of an angled brush because it's also got a fine line on there that I can use sometimes. So I come back with your white and you're gonna do it again. Now you can let this dry in between, but you know I'm impatient and I just kinda of go for it. So let's see, I'm actually gonna suck that in the pink. You can see how that flower, it looks like I am some kind of a hoopty doo artist and I am not. But see, cute, huh? All right, I'm gonna come back after I finish all the flowers and then we'll, then we'll show you how to do the leaves. All right, you guys, I finished the flowers on this side and I wanna show you, I've decided to, um, let me get this, there's a fuzz ball there, oh well to wrap them around the edge. And now I'm going to show you how to do the leaves. And I promise you, y'all, if you will try this, you can do this because I, I'm telling you, I got no skills. It is so, so simple. You can't do it wrong. You can do it in any color scheme you wanted to. And um, I probably am doing it backwards. Like I said, I don't have any skills, but I'm doing my light color first. This is, I think, the kiwi color that I'm using. But any any two shades of green would work product. So I just come in with my darker color and no rhyme or reason, okay? And just add a little color. Sometimes I like to shade like from the bottom. Sometimes I'll do a whole side Hope you guys can see that. But see, nothing fancy. 
just um, two colors of green. No right or wrong way to do it. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of the leaves and then come back and show you what I'm done with. Okay, so there's the leaves. And um, here's what I'm going to ask your help with. I have got no idea what to coat this with now to protect the cover. So if you would, if you have an idea, if you could comment down below and let me know what you think I should use since this is a fabric, um, I want to make sure I use the right thing to protect this covering. I found, I was looking at my gesso bottle and it says works well as a primer and sealer on most surfaces including canvas, wood, paper, metal, chipboard, fabric, plastic, etc. So I'm wondering if this would work. If you would please go down below and comment and let me know what you think because I really need some direction on this because like I say I'm walking clueless on all of this and it's only by the grace of God that I accomplish anything so I hope you like this if you do please hit like and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to continue to follow us and I'll see you soon bye